Good morning everyone, Tim here. Day five of the Great Rugger Run and I've made it all the way to Bodmin Rugby Club. Established in 1969, apparently. Now, after, after four days of real hot sun and like sweltering conditions, I've got great running conditions today. It is just that nice fine rain, you know, you know the type. You said it, didn't you? You know, yeah, yeah, you got it. Um, Sunks you right through. And I've had a nice run this morning from Wadebridge along the Camel Trail all the way here, pretty flat, pretty straight. Legs have felt great. It might also be because of the amazing bacon and egg and spinach wrap that Susie Bayless put in my stomach this morning. Thanks, Susie. Um, well, I'm here at uh, Bodmin, like I said, and um, I'm actually hanging out in the dugout to avoid all that really fine rain at the moment. But an interesting thing here, this is a dugout, but it's on the second team pitch. The first team pitch is all the way up there and it's got its own dugout as well, just there. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a dugout on a, on a second team pitch before. There's one for Stephen Hughes from Old Coffee Inns, the Hughes. He loves a dugout fact. Um, so maybe stick that one in your notebook, mate. Um, but this dugout is in memory of somebody at the club. So we'll just make a little point of that. Um, this one's in memory of Jeff Wood. Um, so I'm assuming he must be some kind of local, local legend here at Bodmin. Um, so best wishes to his family. Uh, now, I just wanted to say a little bit about, um, about the actual challenge that I'm doing, the running. Um, because, you know, I've got a lot, had a lot of comments of, you know, along the lines of, it's amazing, I could never do that, and or it puts my couch to 5K into shame and stuff like that. And I, you know, I think that's kind of the wrong attitude. Just as an example, the, the day I announced what I was, when I was going to be doing the Great Rugger Run, 500 miles in five weeks which for me is a huge challenge. And that's the point, it's for me. On the same day, I, I learned about a guy who was just about to attempt to break the world record for Land's End to John O'Groats. That involved running roughly 100 miles a day for 10 days straight, which to me sounds absolutely insane and impossible. But it's all about comparing yourself, yourself to yourself of yesterday, all right? So just, taking little steps and improvements and getting a little bit better every day and you'll suddenly find that you're you're doing things that you never thought was possible and I think this goes along in everyday life quite a lot as well where comparison can really be the thief of joy you should really only if you can just think about things relative to your own experience and your own life um there we go that's my little bit of wisdom for today so you know if you think you can't do something or you know, you see other people doing amazing things and think you could never do that. You probably can. You just need to take the first step. And once you've done that, you'll get moving, you'll get momentum. And suddenly you'll compare yourself to where you were, you know, however long ago, yesterday, a week, two months, whatever it may be. And you'll be amazed at what you can do. So that's my bit of wisdom for the day. Um, I don't want to preach too much, obviously. Um, I'm finishing up now, uh, heading down to Lost Withiel or Losty, as I hear some of the locals call it. And there's, a, there's no rugby club there, but there is something special, which I'm gonna take you guys to. So stay tuned and I'll see you down in Losty. Cheers.